Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are finally getting around to taking a look at the Nag uh, Hirachi. Now, before we dive into all of that, I want to welcome back any of my returning subscribers. But if you are new around here and it's the first time you see in my face, my name is Aiden. And on this channel, we do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So do make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, make sure that bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And with all that rambling aside, if we now just go ahead and get into the intro. So before we go ahead and actually dive into the shoes, like we always do, let's just take a quick look at the shoe box. Now I'm going to be completely honest, right off the bat, it's been a good few years since I've actually had any Hirachi in my collection. The last time I actually had a Hirachi was around 2014, 2015, and I've not really had any since. I'm genuinely not the biggest fan of the Hirachis, I'm going to be completely honest. But with that in mind, I can't remember if this is the standard box that you get with Hirachis or if this is a special one for this shoe in particular. So if you guys know any more on that, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section because I just genuinely have no idea. Now, as you can see across the top, we get zero branding. There's nothing there. It's just this really nice red color. On the sides of the box, we do have the Nike Air branding. I'd love to show you, but the box is a little bit shiny and it's just going to, you know, show all the light, nothing else. If we then just take a quick look at the label which reads Nike Hirachi OG in the black, black, white colorway. Now this is a UK nine and a half. I'm normally a UK size nine. Hopefully I will be able to show you the size label. Hopefully that will be able to focus for you. Just before we jump into the shoes, I almost completely forgot to mention that if we actually open up the box on the inside, we do actually have some really nice tissue paper. So as you can see, we do have the uh, Hirachi branding. We also have Nike International and Limited Edition. Just a really nice touch for this release. And with all that aside, let's jump straight into the shoes. So to not take up any more of your guys' time, because I'm not going to lie, it's absolutely boiling in here tonight. Ah, it's too hot today. If we go ahead and jump straight into the shoe, starting out with the toes up. Now, the toe box itself, as you can see, we have this all black mesh material. Now, as far as the quality is concerned, it's pretty good. Feels pretty nice. You know, it's nothing too premium, but it's something you probably expect to get at this particular price point. The fact is, it's pretty durable. It's pretty breathable. So if you were thinking about picking this shoe up for summer, you shouldn't actually have any issues with it. But if we then just take a look at the rest of the upper wrapping around the toe, as well as on the overlays, we do actually have this tumbled leather. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's not necessarily the best quality material in the world, but it does the job and it's decent enough for the shoe, if you ask me. It is pretty thin, but this aesthetically is a running shoe, or at least it was when it was officially released. So I've got no complaints with it, really, I'll be honest. It feels absolutely fine. The, the, it does actually have a really nice texture to it. But then on the underlay of the shoe, we do actually have this really nice, soft, black textile material. And then if we continue to work our way back, wrapping from the lateral side to the medial side and through the heel, we do have this rubber heel strap. Now on the actual heel itself, as you can see, we do have that Nike branding. And just underneath that, we have the Ur branding on the midsole. But if we then just continue to move down the shoe and actually take a look at the midsole itself, as you can see, we have this really nice all black rubber midsole. And then switching to the outsole of the shoe, we have this semi-translucent rubber outsole. And just underneath the midfoot, we do have the slogan, have you hugged your foot today? Now that's actually a nod to the original press release for when the Nike Hirachi officially launched. And genuinely, Nike don't do ad campaigns the way they used to. They're absolutely incredible. I implore every single person that's watching this video to genuinely go and have a look at some of the original ad campaigns for things like the Hirachi, the Jordan 1, and just silhouettes from around the 80s and 90s. The ad campaigns are incredible, genuinely. I've actually tried to incorporate one of them into a previous video. Unfortunately, it got copyright strike, so I had to take it out, which is unfortunate. And then just underneath the actual have you hugged your foot today detailing, we do actually have this kind of triangular cutout, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. It kind of feels like EVA form to me. Um, yeah, can't really put my finger on exactly what it is, but it feels really soft to touch on the hand. I'm sure it's adding to the overall comfort of the shoe. But if we then just move back into the center of the shoe, as you can see, we do have these thin black shoelaces and incorporated into the lace themselves, we do have this white threading. Now, I'm not exactly sure if the white threading is 3M. I did take some pictures with the flash on. It was a little bit reflective, but not in the way that you'd really expect with the, you know, a 3M shoe. So I'm not entirely sure. And then on either side of the laces, we do actually have additional holes for extra lacing. I'm not sure anybody actually double laces the Hirachis. I mean, I don't even really lace mine. It's more there for aesthetics than anything else. I kind of just took them in. 
Um, but yeah, I think it would be really interesting to see if somebody actually did double lace them. But if we then continue to move up the laces to the top of the tongue, in the centre of the tongue we do have the Nike Air Hirachi branding. But if we then just move on to the main reason I don't even buy Hirachis anymore, we have this Hirachi booty. Now this is genuinely one of the most difficult shoes to get on if you have wide feet. I actually went a half size up in these. I went and got a nine and a half and I still couldn't get this on my big fat feet. I just can't do it, Captain. I do it half the power. I'm a pretty big guy. And when you see a big guy like me struggling to put his shoe on from the outside, it's probably hilarious. But I'm genuinely fighting with this flipping thing to try and get it on and it just won't go on. Um, so I think I'm going to have to probably return this shoe and get a size 10. I can't even remember what size I used to wear. It was probably a 10 and a half because of how lazy I was as a teenager. This is definitely not a slip on if you have wide feet. If you have narrow feet, you'll probably be absolutely fine with it. But look, as you can see, there's not really a lot of stretch to it. There's a little bit, but it is a sock like construction. So it's all pretty much a one piece when you, you know, go underneath the overlays. So with that in mind, if you do have wide feet like me, I'm going to recommend that you go at least a full size up. Like I say, if you have narrower feet, probably get away with going true to size or a half size up. But it really all just depends on how you like to wear your shoes. Now, another thing that I do actually take issue with is the fact that the actual neoprene sock doesn't actually have any structure to it whatsoever. Don't get me wrong, I get it. I get the aesthetics of it. And I just genuinely believe if you are wearing this for lifestyle purposes, it is extremely comfortable. But for somebody like me, I just genuinely like a little bit more structure and support around the ankle, especially around the heel as well. But if we then continue to move even further into the shoe itself, on the insole, as you can see, we have this all black insole with the Nike International branding. And other than that, I think we've just about covered everything that's worth covering on the shoe itself. So if we now just go ahead and wrap this video up. So just to wrap up this video in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, I'm going to give this shoe a pretty respectable 7 out of 10. It's not necessarily the best shoe in the world and there's a lot of things that I personally don't like about it. But in general, the quality of materials is half decent. It's very comfortable like I've already touched on. The colorway is really nice and it's an everyday type of shoe. And in the grand scheme of things, especially when we look at prices these days, it's a pretty affordable shoe as well. So I think a 7 out of 10 is pretty good for this shoe. But I'd love to know your guys' opinions as well. Was this a must cop or did you pass on it? Do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I want to say a massive thank you. Do make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, make sure that bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.